Hi ESP8266 lovers. If you are watching this video, I assume you already know what an interrupt is. But if you don't know what it is, I'm just going to give you a very short description of that. Um, as we can guess from the name of it, when you are doing a process, interrupt is going to be uh, jumping in the middle of the process, doing whatever you are asking that interrupt to do. It's going to be a function in this case. And when it's done, we are going back, we are ending that process, going back to the routine process that we were already doing. So what we, how we are going to do that in ESP microcontroller? It's going to be so easy. There's just one key point. Interrupt works with signals, and the signal is going either, digital signals are either going up or they are going down. Um, if they are not disabled. So you can set them to be rising or basically going down, falling. Also, you can put them on, in a mode that it's uh, either going up or it's going down, so basically changing. When we are going to call the interrupt in ESP, we are going to attach interrupt. To which pin, you are just going to put the name of the the number of the GPIO pin that you are going to use, which function we are going to call. I named one for my function, interrupt function. This is just a test, so you can name it whatever you like. When is that going to be uh, start functioning? Whenever I toggle the uh, GPIO 13 pin to VCC, basically, 3.3 uh, volt in this case. So it's going to be rising, pin 13, interrupt function. This is my interrupt function. Here is the key point. Before you call, or basically if you attach that uh, interrupt function, you need to put the pin mode in output. Default input for, uh, default mode for GPIO pins in ESP8266 is input. There are three different pin modes. In this case, we're going to need to put them in GPIO, uh, that GPIO pin into output mode. Otherwise, you need to physically put them um, once in VCC, next time to ground. Then the next time, if you're going to connect it to ground, no matter if you're looking to rising or you're looking for uh, falling or change, you need to change that between uh, ground and 3.3 volts. So make sure this is going to be the right. Second key point, after you are going to do all the process, whatever you did in the interrupt function, you're going to need to put it back to ground if you are using rising mode. If you are using falling mode, you're going to need to put it up. So it's basically ready for the next interrupt. If this all makes sense, let's see how it's going to work on my LCD over here. So, in my case, I'm just going to print interrupt on my LCD. This is showing whatever information I need. As soon as toggle, I toggle the uh, GPIO 13 in my case to power, when it's rise, we see it prints interrupted. Then it starts to continue the process, whatever it was doing. You see the uh, dots over there on the screen. It's uh, processing the rest of the process it was doing. I'm giving that a few seconds. All right, so it's back. One more time. This is the only thing we need to know. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys have a great time.